And so uh, what a story we've seen here with the emergence of uh, young Elena Ostapenko here in Paris. And uh, she started the event as a teenager. And strangely enough, if she wins today, it will be her first tour title. And the first tour title will be a Grand Slam. And what a thrill for this, and what a great deal of little ball kids come out and hold hands as they make their way on to the centre stage. Now this is Simona Hallop being introduced Simona now. She also has Alec. a huge incentive. She's been here before, lost in the final. It would be her first major title. And as I mentioned, if she wins, she will become world number one. So uh, a battle of youth and experience here. So let's uh, hear what both ladies said about today's final. Simona Alep. I'm really excited to play the final again. Here in Paris is uh, my favorite Grand Slam because I feel like home, many Romanians in, this, in the crowd. So uh, it feels good. Every match was difficult, but uh, the most important one was with uh, Zvitolina when I was uh, match point down and set and 5 1. I was a little bit lucky at the uh, set point, and um, I felt that uh, everything is with me. Uh, and I believed more that I have another chance um, to play in the final and to do something. But uh, yeah, I still dream for the title. Three years ago, I was very sad in that day that I couldn't uh, finish the match, but uh, maybe I needed time, I needed more experience um, to win for one kind of this tournament. But now I'm uh, more like uh, present in the moment, uh, I'm focused, um, I'm thinking that uh, it's going to be another match, a tough one, but it's a normal match, I'm not taking uh, that pressure anymore. But uh, Still, I feel that it's a big day for me and uh, I, will, uh, I feel that I'm able to handle it. I really love to play here. The atmosphere and everything is, is amazing to be here. The crowd is really amazing. They were supporting me a lot and I really, really like it. So I just go and enjoy every match because it's, it's amazing to be here. It's amazing to play on a Philip Chatria court with a lot of people supporting me and it's just so nice. When I was younger I was just dreaming about this, to play in the Grand Slam. But I'm already in the final so it's it's it's, it's amazing feeling. It's gonna be a tough match. Simone is a great player so I'm just gonna go out there and enjoy the match and uh, I will try to show my best. First set, Halep to serve. Let, premier service. Zero stepping in. That's what she looks to do. Every ball she can. First one was good. First service.
Start off with love forty. Sure. That's rather nerves there, that's a sign there, ball toss, couldn't get that one. Oh. Get away from you quickly, 15 oh. minutes. Defend out of that forehand corner. It's pretty big. Well, that is pretty big, isn't it? You think that was a good shot from Hallett to get her on the run out wide. Halt again. The forehand strike was timed perfectly. It's good early preparation. Real intent there. What? She actually says uh, her backhand is her favourite shot and the forehand's uh, an area of her game that she's really worked on. I mean, she's hit a lot of forehand winners. Good. This is one of her favourite patterns. There's the There's angle cross court forehand. It was a pretty decent shot from Halep. But she's not in a great court position. off the net court, but Halep had already committed the other way. to stay in it. For all. I mean, that's not an easy ball to flatten out there. Darren Cahill happy with those tactics. And the target. And that's a, a key shot Zero right here. Point. This 
slightly shorter angled forehand and that stops Hallett being able to Merci. chase it down. Love 30. Main point. Percentage on second serve, not good. Halep attacked that. There's the another error from the forehand. A set point now for the Romanian. to win a Grand Slam title here following Virginia Rasic's triumphs in 1978. Again, a short second serve. Halep, two metres inside the baseline, and that's only a second winner. Falta Carroll. Important winner, it brings up a break point. that are going past her. She's accepted that. She's pretty clear in, in terms of her game plan out here. goes out of here, three love. The wheels could fall off, but if she breaks serve here and gets her mind on the job, she's still in this match, well in it. Yeah, good first serve. Very good point from Hallett there. A little more on that first Avant serve and then Mademoiselle steps into her second shot here. Good aggression. Mademoiselle 
Allen at the angles. When she gets the angle, she straightens it out and then in the open court goes for it. Fred, I mean, see this point Alain again, Alain I mean, an incredible Alain. angle from Ostapenko off that ball because that pretty much bounced on the line. To a good dig from Hallett, but unable to get enough on it. But every game's been close. Has to realise that she is closer than the scoreline might look. <laughs> She's not been able to do that too often, Ostapenko. It's a key play for her, pushing forward, playing the drive volley. There's a call. Successful shot, and what it does do is just take so much time away from Halep. And it's given her a bit of confidence as well. As you mentioned, she settled down 15 30 now. That last service game was huge to keep her in the match. Break point down. That's out, and the break is there. Yeah. Two games to two, Halep now. Mademoiselle Halep, men, trois jeux à deux. a little short a forehand for Ostapenko Starting to fire. 
what Halep did particularly Kenneth well when Thomas. defending out of the forehand corner in the first set was play with a little more shape and depth. Another winner flies past Halep. really not mean too much at the moment but 3-1 Hallett this is a huge game here break in the third Mademoiselle Alep men trois jeux un Mademoiselle Alep mène trois jeux à deux. Over the top of the ball, could use of the left hand, able to create that angle. Effective shot there, a little shorter. 30 all. the net she was very quick to react 40 30. did a good job with that backhand as well because yeah, it was pretty was close over one. the net
Perfecto. Well, we're seeing history here today, Liz. Yelena Ostapenko! How fearless is she? Steps out here, first ever Grand Slam final. Not won a title ever at tour level. And her first one is the French Open. <laughs> And, and fearless, no, nerves, no. Started off a little bit cranky with the players' box after missing a few, but down and out in the second set. Three love, points down for four love. Then again, later in that set. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the prize-giving ceremony for the women's singles of the 2017 French Open. The trophies will be presented by the president of the French Tennis Federation, Mr. Bernard Giudicelli, and by Françoise Dur, who won 16 titles during her career, including one Grand Slam at the French Open in 1967. Runner-up at the 2017 French Open, Simona Alep. Today she has won her first French Open title, Yelena Ostapenko. <laughs> <laughs> 